Hello everyone, Julia Sheehan here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Tonight I'd like to show you this little card that I did. Uh, I have a special twist to it that I will show you toward the end of this video. It won't take very long. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a nice simple little Christmas card. It uh, comes together very easily and um, I particularly like the fact that of using this beautiful embossing uh, folder here with the bricks. I just love it. It's such a nice embossing folder. So anyway, I'll show you how I did it. The first thing you'll need is just the basic black cardstock and that's eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths of an inch. You need a piece of Whisper White measuring five and six eighths of an inch by four inches. And then you just need some black cardstock and a few small off cuts of white and black cardstock. Okay, so the first thing I did was to put my white cardstock through this gorgeous embossing folder and you can either line it up at the edge here or what I did with this is I actually lined it up along the edge of where that line is on the, the embossing folder. That became very handy for a nice straight edge and it, uh, it came out really nicely. And I've run that through already just to save some time and this is how it came out. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just such a beautiful embossing folder. So I then need to mark on the back of this card so just decide what's your top and what's your bottom and then you need to just put a mark at six eighths of an inch oops wrong side would be better six eighths and seven eighths because you're going to put your ribbon between the six eighths and the seven eighths the next one you need to do at 2 and 1 16th and your ribbon will go straight over the top of that mark. And the last one is 3 and an eighth and 3 and 2 eighths and your ribbon goes between those two marks. So that way then you can turn it back over and you've got your, your ribbon on the right spot to come down your card. Now with your black cardstock, we're just going to print, uh, sorry, stamp our bauble and cut it out. And for that, I'm just going to get my stamp here, which I had ready. And I decided to use this beautiful um, stamp set. Christmas Gleaming and I'm using this particular bauble from the set. You could use either but this one just really took my eye when it was all um, embossed up. So that's the one I'm using. The embossing folder is called Brick and Mortar and it's a 3D embossing folder. So you want to grab hold of that. And the sentiment I'm using actually comes from the still scenes and it's just this one here. I just love the way that's written. So I popped into that one and, and took a bit of that as well. So all I'm going to do is get some Versamark ink and I'll do the gold one first. Just make sure you've got enough Versamark on there. And then I'm just going to pop that on there. I'm sort of double dipping here at the moment. I've got a few cards on the go and I'm trying to uh, get started on my swaps for on stage. So too much happening all at once. <laughs> okay, so now some gold embossing powder. i will do that one. This comes up so beautifully. Okay, so I just grabbed my heat gun. I apologize for the noise. Just let that heat up for a minute. There we go. Nice 
nice and quick. Okay, so next one. If you were doing a lot of these cards, you could very easily um, do a production line of them, really. You know, do a whole lot of gold, then a whole lot of silver and so forth and put all your cards together. And I think that's what I'll do because I'll send some of these to my mother to give to her friends. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I do her Christmas cards now. But she just can't get out and about. She's 86 and so a bit too hard for her now. Okay, so there's our silver one. And we do exactly the same thing to it. I love how quickly this just changes, it makes them look so beautiful. Okay, and our third one, which is the one I'm doing with the copper embossing powder. And we'll do that one there. Okay, and just pull out copper embossing powder. As you've all probably gathered from some of the things you've seen me do, I do love embossing. I just really think it looks spectacular. So there we go. And I'll do that one up as well. There we go, done. Quick and easy. And don't they look beautiful? Okay. Now the punch is the punch from the Gleaming Ornament Punch Pack. And I'll just find the lid to my verse mark. My desk is not the tidiest tonight. I have a lot of things happening here. Okay, and... I'm just going to pop these in here. I do love using punches with things. It's just so quick. Just a matter of centering that up and then done. And we'll go again. Done. And last one. So they're all done. Okay. Now we can start putting this together. Now I have to admit my ribbon is not anything current. It's not stamping up because they don't have anything in the catalogue this year that's thin and flat for what I wanted to do on this card so this is a ring in ribbon so I'm hoping that we can um, I, I've tried looking at a whole lot of different ribbons they most of them are too wide at the moment and I really wanted just a narrow little ribbon with this one now you can just put some tape across the back of the card for this part of the sticking it down but on the other side I like to use the glue so the first one's just going to go on there and I'm just going to bring that over and I'll sit this under here so it just doesn't stick down and I'm only going to make this one short so I'm going to cut it there I still take it down well behind the bauble but um, I, I just it, it's just the shortest one of them and then just where you know the line is that that's going to follow down your card just a little bit of the glue just holds it in place and if you don't want to put glue behind the whole thing you probably don't need to you could just put um, some down the end here but whoops 
takes a little bit to stick to so just needs a little bit of time a little bit of encouragement and then my bauble which I'm going to put up on dimensionals assuming that I can find them there they are I'm just going to put them there there down the bottom and I might just put one of the small ones up the top there the mini ones into that area and that also sits over the ribbon and helps to uh, keep it in place as well just take all that off and then this one's going to go fairly close to the top so I'll just line it up and stick it down and then we can turn it over and do the next one and then I'm just going to put it over the top of that mark that I made this just means that they're spaced out well on the front I mean you can do it any way you want to but I've I've just done it so I can space them out the way I want them to be and then just going down again you should be able to eyeball that pretty well but if you want to put a light pencil mark there by all means do so I don't think that matters at all because you won't see it and I'll cut that off about there and again you just need to just give it a chance to grab hold of that glue and then I'm going to put the silver between the gold and the copper and more dimensionals just like that and a mini one at the top helps support that top part of the ornament too so it's putting that little one up there okay And then I'm just going to pop that one about there. Doesn't really matter, like you can space it however you want to. That's where that one's going tonight. Then we turn over and just my last bit of ribbon will go on there between those last two marks that I put on there and my ribbon will come down to about here again just making a line down just give yourself a bit of a sight of where you want it and bring it down glue it down See, it does come together very quickly. It's not a, a complex card, but it, I think it looks very nice. And I do love the black with these colours in black and white and the brickwork. I just think all works really nicely together. So um, I probably, a long time ago, would never have done a black and white Christmas card, but... I actually think that they look really stunning and you'll see what I mean when I show you what I did to the card for a bit of fun I um, don't know some of you may have relatives or children that sort of start to get to that age where it's not cool to to believe in you know Santa or you know Christmas or whatever you know like because their mates say it's not and um, yeah I just I hate it when they get they get to that age and it's just not cool anymore so I just came up with a little bit of a a way to get around that I think now the other thing that you need to do is just to tie some tiny bows just to sit on here like these ones here and when I do bows on camera I am all thumbs so 
<laughs> I decided to do them earlier. So I've done them already. They're just simple little bows. I mean, I know everybody knows how to tie a bow. It's just that when you try and do it, when you have to do it, it doesn't work that well. So all I'm going to do is put a glue dot behind it and then it just sits on the top of the bauble. I'll grab another one. And another glue dot. And pop it on top of your bauble. There we go. And I've used gold ribbon for all of it. I think the gold goes fine with all the different um, colours in these circumstances because you often see decorations hanging like different colours off gold and so forth. So that didn't bother me at all. Now just give me one moment and I'll just find my sentiment. Okay, so you just need a scrap piece of cardstock. And I've got my sentiment, the season's greetings from the Still Scenes set. And I'm doing it in black ink. So I, I didn't want more gold on it. I, I'm quite happy to have the black um, featured on it. And then I'll just make sure I've got that up the right way. Just close down to the bottom of your scrap piece of cardstock and there it is and then just trim it off now uh, and make your black background accordingly mine worked out at here's just one I did earlier at um, let's see two and Three eighths long by, well, you might as well say 15 sixteenths wide, and then I just made my black that uh, eighth of an inch bigger again all around, and I'm just going to glue that onto there. that on there and then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals as well and we're nearly done and I do put one just in the middle for support I just wouldn't like anything to sag, so I always make sure there's one in the middle. I doubt that it would, but I always tend to just be that little bit extra careful with it. Take all those bits off and then just sit it somewhere on your card there that you like it. And then we can attach the whole thing to the card and we put all our glue on here Whoop. and on me make sure you go across the back of your ribbon just for extra stability I think I've just about run out of glue give it a bit of a shape might get just enough out of it there we go and then pop it on your card base and we're done and there's your card now the twist comes from what I decided to do to get people that are teenagers that are probably not so much into Christmas now where did I oh there it is and here it is and this is what I've done I grunged it up and put some dirt on the bricks and then just put some Christmas words 
and made it look a little bit cool. I changed the colour of the ribbon to black and then I've just got Elves Rock and Santa is Cool and made it look like graffiti and I've shown it to a couple of people and they've gone, oh, wow, that's different. So they really liked it and thought that, yes, there'd be some kids that would really enjoy that. So there's just a little twist on it as well. So you can have this nice card that you would give anyone but then you've got this one that you could possibly make up for some kids and I think they would enjoy it. Anyway, that's my card for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, I would love it if you did. I love sharing my cards and doing fun things with them. And uh, please turn on the notifications so you know when I'm doing a new card. I do one every week and uh, a thumbs up if you liked it any comments or any ideas that you would have that would change it up again or do something different i'd love to to hear it or see what you've done anyway everyone have a wonderful week lovely weekend and i'll see you all again next week thanks for watching bye for now